Okay, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you how you can take the stuff I got on this table here, and you can basically make a water turbine generator out of it um, for just basically junk. <laughs> now, this right here, I 3D printed this. Uh, it's out of plastic. It's not the ideal material for this to be made of. It will work, though. Uh, I'm not sure about the longevity of it, but it will work. It's a Pelton wheel, turbine wheel. The water, of course, will spray on these paddles and turn them. And for the generator itself, this is a motor from a, uh, a fan motor from I guess a Ford car I don't even remember where I got this but I do know that this is the motor that drives the cooling fan on the front of the on the uh, well I think it was on the back of the radiator um, it's got a big fan and a shroud and all that and this pulls cooler air in through the radiator to cool the vehicle um, just electric fan motor and it's a 12 volt motor two speeds it's got two connections there and this right here is a small piece of 3 8 pipe that I just JB welded onto it because I need an extended shaft the shaft was only about that long really nothing I could do with it um, I'm sure there's other ways you could do it but this was the simplest way I could find and I think it'll work just fine because this is pretty strong on there okay so right here I have a little small 12 volt LED and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in to here just plug it directly into these terminals and see what comes out of this when you spin this over is a DC current and it goes with the uh, if you get a high speed motor you will have to spin it at high speeds in order to get power back out of it this one is a lower speed motor these are made for torque instead of speed so they spin those big fan blades They're, they don't spin them super fast so this you can spin at a lower speed lower rpm okay now you can see there's no other modification I just have this LED plugged straight in to the plug the original plug on the motor now let me just spin this I don't know if you can see that in the sunlight but just by spinning it by hand you can light that little LED up let me give you a little bit more speed here. And try it. Lights it up good and bright. Okay, this is just a stock DC motor. I have not modified this motor in any way. It will actually still run on a battery there's nothing been done to it so that's how basically you make a generator out of an electric motor it already is one you don't really have to do anything to it okay now i have fixed this so that this wheel will go on to the end of it and once it goes on a little bit then you screw it on i'm not going to screw it all the way on yet but this will be what our water sprayer right here will spray on and as it sprays on it the force of the water hitting these paddles will turn the generator okay so we will contain all that in this is a toilet paper roll dispenser like you would find in a commercial building it's not something that you absolutely have to have this 
particular item. I mean, you can make this out of, you know, a big round bowl or something like that. But I had this laying around, and I think it will make the perfect housing for my water generator. So let's pop this open. And pull this off. Okay, you can see another little piece in there. And you have this that is in here. That's right where the shaft is going to have to go, so we'll have to get rid of that. Okay, now I've taken a grinder and just basically grinded it out so that I can just... Yep, there we go. So I can just take this piece out. Do not need that anymore. Now, all we need is for this motor to be mounted in this housing like that so let's do that I've got some bolts here there are three ears on the motor I have three bolts and I drilled three holes that correspond with the holes on the motor those in like that all right now we have our generator motor generator it is mounted inside of the toilet paper holder and one problem with having water splashing around inside of this toilet paper holder thing is the inside of the motor is exposed here and you don't want to get water inside of these places in here because <laughs> that's the inside of the motor you don't want water in on the inside of the motor so what I'm going to do, there are a few ways to do this. You could take a piece of inner tube, that would work. Um, don't have a piece of inner tube handy, but I do have a piece of this onboard stuff. move that paper backing we don't want the paper on it anyway and then now I have the same size piece in here put this over the motor where I can see where it needs to go and I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna take that piece of pipe and make a hole the same size as the pipe this will make pretty good seal I'm just going to screw this in so that it but it'll hold itself and it'll block the water okay now we have our pelton wheel, turbine wheel, whatever kind of wheel you want to call it. Go down on a little bit and then let me grab this with the
Well, basically now, that part is done. You can see if I, I really got to spin it. There we go. I guess I'm going to spin it that fast. Let's see if I can get it to spin with the screwdriver. You can see that's almost a perfect size for that. And it probably actually would have been better to have had this kind of off to one side, have the water hitting it. That way the turbulence of the water that's still in here would not interfere with the blades. But it is what it is. That's what we've got right there. All right, well me and the old uh, supervisors, <laughs> they're not doing very much but they're supervising, I guess, are up here. This is where the high spot is, where I'm getting the water, it is right up there. I can actually go a little higher. I think I will. But you can see right over here, I can zoom you in. This is having trouble. Well, rolling shutter effect makes it look like it's barely spinning, but that's turning pretty fast. Um, yeah, let's get over here a little closer and I'll show you what I did. All right, so right here you can see that's where the, the yellow line is coming down. And I put it down a steeper spot so that it will have more momentum before it gets here. Uh, there's the orange line. And this is not the most efficient way to do this. It does work, but it's it's not the most efficient. Um, what I've got to do is get a splitter different than that. And you can see, let me turn the water off here so we don't get the camera wet. All right. You can see this thing was not going to fit in there very easy. So what I did... I took another piece of this pipe, put it through right here where it can spray on these. Kind of bent the end of it a little so it's uh, got a little of a spray nozzle type effect. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get another one of those, or actually I may just cut that in half. And I'm going to put it on this side coming in through here so it's spraying in on both sides then I'm going to take and I'm going to get a different style of splitter than that uh, it's not going to be water hose but run it into a line and hook it to this one and then hook it to the other side but for right now this will work to show you how you can make power with just a little bit of water spraying on these fins and let me turn it back on right here uh not right there right here and i don't want to get my camera wet but man it throws water i've got to get way away from it it throws water all over the place <laughs> things spinning pretty fast uh it's spinning fast enough that it's lighting up the led that means it's putting out over 12 volts should be enough to charge a battery so let's go get a battery and a uh, charge controller and see what we can do with it okay now i have a solar charge controller hooked up here and let's see can you see that green light right there that means that the battery's hooked up and you don't have anything coming in because this first one is not hooked up yet okay so this is running out of here up to the connectors in there in our little makeshift generator okay now i'm going to put i'm going to turn the water on now one jet on that is just barely enough to make it charge all right now i think y'all can see that this one green led right here it's daylight out here so it's kind of hard to see but i 
Okay, you can see that this little green LED is on right there. I think you can anyway. Okay, I'm going to turn the water on and we're going to see this one come on too. Okay, ready? Let's turn on our water. Come on, get spun up. You can see it's actually just kind of, it'll come on and go off, come on and go off. Because it's not really quite enough to really charge up battery. Okay, so. Crank this back up. All right. Yes, yeah, throwing water all over again. Actually, it's slowing down a little. I think that battery may be a little low. That's why it's slowing it down. It's dragging that. Ooh, I just got sprayed. It's dragging that wheel down. Um, it's not spinning as fast as it was a while ago. But it's. Uh, it's still spinning just fast enough to charge, but I think that battery is low, so it's not, you know, it's it's got a load on it now. With the other side spraying on too, I think it will be fine. Um, I'll have to work on that later, but we got it to where it'll charge the battery. Anyway, with just some scrap in the camera, it don't even look like it's moving. It is, it's spinning, it's going around. Anyway. It's charging the battery. It's, uh, I'm getting free battery charging from just uh, water. Uh, anyway, I believe that's going to about do it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching. I'll see y'all on the next one.